Previously on Black Gold. Watch out! Brandon's life spirals out of control. It just ain't working. I can't do it by myself. Exactly. No, man, guess okay. what? Guess what? Stop. Guess what? Stop. Come on. But when he blows off work to cut loose with Justin, yeah. his job lands in the crosshairs. Why the f aren't you here? Where's Justin? This is the last time I'm going to call you. Either you're going to show up to work or you're not. On this episode, Brandon Spiral continues. I don't know what your little kick is, but I don't like it. Oscar's had enough. No, I'm just sick of it. I know what I gotta do. Cut his ass loose. Cut that ability for four. You could've helped me out, bro. And Justin wants out. He babysit himself. That's a grown ass man. Before he hits rock bottom. The wrong oh, right for him, brother. Ah! Two weeks behind schedule, Rig 28 finally moves to its third of four halls. You know, I'm rigging up. I can't afford that. Some of these hands ain't showing up. Hey, heck up, put all that shit on before you go out there. Their two best hands, Brandon and Justin, are nowhere to be found. Turn the shit on. You gotta go get somebody else the wheel. Ah, come on. And everyone's feeling the pressure. You in this job, mother? I don't need this job. Get the bitch ass yeah, mother. Thank God you punished you me today. Nick. I don't know what Brandon's at. I mean, just the what the he was at all morning. You know the way everything's going. There's gonna be some new hands out here. You need some new faces. Maybe some new drillers. Three hundred miles south. Brandon and Cheston are making waves. Hey, Brandon! Hey, Brandon! Until... Right, right. Oh, it's the sheriff! Right. I'm not saying. We ain't trying to step on your toes, man. I'm not trying to ruin your guys' day, but I don't want to get hurt because this thing is a dead life jacket I made for high speed operation. <laughs> if she falls off the life jacket... You'll fall right off of her. For once, the cops aren't after Brandon. Me and Tom's are gonna take a ride some cops. So I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Let's go run down, my buddy. I'm gonna hide the boat. With his current legal troubles, Brandon would normally avoid the cops. But a day's dose of liquid courage has him pushing his luck. I'm gonna go with the cops. A lot of people come here on vacation and they're not used to boating and they're out here to have fun and they just take it one step too far wow. and that's all I'll take. Yeah, yeah, see what I mean? He's waking in a no wake zone. No wake zone means you can't go fast. You don't want to, you don't want to have no wake. Everything I tell him goes in one ear and out the other. I can make it stay in with two ears. Hey, 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 can't, you forgot, you got to calm the down, Chester. Get the down. Quit speeding. Quit speeding. Is this slow? Yeah. No, no, no. Cut the out. Yes, you can. Cut the out. Don't f with the cops, bro. For real. I'm telling Don't worry. Hey, the other thing is, come here. Come here. Seriously, I want you guys to have fun, but I also want you guys to be safe. Here, yes, sir. I'm not kidding. Yeah. If you don't respect it, you'll end up hurt. So the tables turn on this mother. I'm really being serious. Yes, sir. No, I understand. Yes. We're serious. You, you, you can really get hurt doing this. Yes, All sir. Right. See how cool that guy was with you, man? If he's in the middle of Texas, you'd be the slammer. Alyssa, keep his ass in line. God. Can you drive it? Come on, man. <laughs> it is really sensitive, bro. We're gonna go get some speed! Hey, you wanna have a rig? You own it! Back in Midland, 
After 12 grueling hours, the crew finally makes the move to hole number three. Not no running around, not knowing with half my driller got half my crew there. But Oscar's reached his breaking point. I mean, I'm out here trying to get this job done. With Brandon and Cheston missing in action, Oscar's forced to pick up their slack. I raised the Derrick, pinned the Derrick, run up, bridle that bitch down, run back in the ground, help Mitchell on the ground, run back on the floor, help the guys on the floor, run back down, go up in the Derrick, come down, I mean, down, down! No, I'm, I'm just one guy, I'm the tool pusher. Uh, yeah. I've been told already, they're gonna stack us out if we, we don't perform. As the rig struggles to get up and running, back at the lake, about an hour packing up all our Trying to haul us back to Midland. This weekend, we needed this. We really did. Got my head clear. I haven't seen a guy smile like that in a long time, so I really wish we could enjoy it more, man. Y'all be safe. Y'all get lost. We probably will get lost. All right. Yeah. I'm driving. You ride. That's legal. Come on. All right. Let's go. Back at Rig 28, the tower's in place, and it's time to start drilling. But first, Supervisor Freddie Moore pays Oscar a surprise visit. What's that, Freddie? Hey, Oscar. What are you doing? Ah, uh, just getting his rig drilling. I just heard reports about Brandon, you know, not showing up to work and if, he, if he's not here and he can't do his job, cut his ass loose. Cut that umbilical cord. You know, Brandon's one of my better drillers, huh? You know, he's had personal problems that I... I know I shouldn't have given him a leeway because I don't give nobody else leeway. You know, Oscar, we got two more holes and the clock's ticking, bud. It's ticking on your shoulders, it's ticking on mine. We're carrying that clock, fine. You know, at the same time, you know, he shows up and does his job, but... It... You can't protect him but so damn much, Oscar. Brandon's a dying dog, son. He ain't a big dog, he's a dying dog. I'm leaving you behind. Cut him loose, find you somebody else. You know, I don't care how good of friends they are, that friendship stops when he comes up on this location. If Oscar can't take care of it, then I'll take care of it. And then Oscar ain't gonna like what I'm gonna do. A hundred twenty-five miles south. Brandon and Cheston are five hours into their drive back to Midland. When suddenly... She be... Son of a bitch, I had to... Got the lights on. You turned the Son road rights on. Damn, I don't need this. My lights. Take me away to the sheriff's office. How you doing? Good, how are you? Do me a favor, can you turn off your vehicle, please? Yes, sir. The reason why you're stopped today is because your KC lights were up on there. He told you, dude. Well, I... Didn't know you were gonna leave him on. All right. You have your driver's license insurance on you? Yes, sir. All right, this is this is your ID. You got a driver's license? No, sir. You don't have one at all? It's suspended. Suspended? Yes, sir. Okay. So I need you to step out of the vehicle. Coming up. Ah! When Brandon gets locked up, Oscar has to fill in his driller. And he's not oh, happy oh. about it. I know what I gotta do, and that's why I'm mother from here on. Outside of Ozona, Texas. Texas ID for a last name Watson, first name Brandon. The long arm of the law catches up with Brandon again. All right, Mr. Watson, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Go ahead and step back to my vehicle. Yeah. All right, go ahead and place your hands on the hood if you would. Do you have any weapons or any drugs on you at this time? Uh, I may have a knife in my pocket. That's about it. Deep down, I knew something. I mean, it's like there's no way that we can travel all this road and not something go wrong. All right, Miss Watson, go ahead and place your hands behind your back. Put your palms together. You resting me? Yes, sir. What? 
Being arrested for uh, driving without a driver's license while your driver's license is suspended. You don't get no ticket for that? No, nope, it's enhanced. Once it's suspended, if you're driving while it's suspended, you've been arrested for the class B misdemeanor. Okay? Yes, sir. You want to step back here for me? So I can put you in the back car. Mm -hmm. Ah! Mind if I talk to him for a second? Yeah. Hey, Brock. You want to get me out in the morning? I mean, I can try to not, but I mean, we'll see. I don't know. He said I can find some yellow pages or bronze or whatever. When you get to the jail, just if they. I know, they, but they, you can't get me out tonight. Get me out in the morning. Right. All right. We'll get you out. Promise me. We'll get you out, man. You're it gonna ain't get like out. I'm in, I'm in no zone. You know what I mean? I know. We'll get you out, dude. I mean, right. you're gonna get out. I'll, I'll call your lawyer, all right? Don't be mistreating my truck. Yeah. I know Brandon's pissed right now, but you know what? I mean, I told the guy. It sounds like he's gonna sit in there all night. I mean, I hope that's not the case, but man, I gotta get back to work. It's day two at the third hall. You look in the hole. Watch out, fellas. And the crew is fed up with Brandon being MIA again. Irritating, man. I don't work like this. You know what I mean? I work 90 miles an hour, 110 miles an hour all the time. It's just like it's, it's brought my whole aura down. You know what I mean? I'm just I'm not, I'm not as peppy anymore. You know what I mean? With his back to the wall, Oscar makes a tough decision. I got terminations ready. I know what I gotta do, and that's my mother from here on. You know, Brandon is a good driller, one of the best. I can't depend on him, you know? And I'm just sick of it, I'm done. Breaking his promise to get Brandon out of jail, Chester heads to work. I did what I could to get him out, talk to the cops, but Brandon's in jail. Well, I'm just gonna let him screw up. Now it's time to face Oscar. What's up, buddy? Where you been at? Dude, I know I'm late, but Oscar, uh, Brandon went to jail, dude. It's just another one of those deals, and we we're on our way back from Austin, so. Well, I was counting on you and Brandon, dude. I know. We... You had to be here for that rig movie. You had to help us out, you know. That's why I have her. Uh, yeah, I know it's crucial to me right now. Right. It's crucial to get these welds done. I need all my hands out here. I got you. I know I'm late, but that's why I'm here, man, because I, I know you need me, so. If you want to keep your job, go out there and scrub that so. All right. I'll get it done. Good. I will. Here today to prove to Oscar that I'm part of the team. And then I'm gonna value my asset. I'm gonna do my job, work my ass off, and do exactly as I'm told, and finish cleaning this rig for him, and get it shining for him. That's all there is to it. After landing in the doghouse with Oscar, end of the day, I'm responsible for all my actions. I've had my little problem as well. Justin's only way out is to distance himself from Brandon. I'm not trying to get too deep into it like he is, man. It's time to shape up. Sometimes all Brandon cares about is Brandon. It's kind of a letdown. You know, he's kind of supposed to be holding up his end of the deal right now, and I feel like I should have got a little more time on the break handle, and hopefully this next while I'm gonna step it up and I'll get, I'll get more time. See, Coach Chester. Stuff's done. What do you want? What do you want me to do next? No, I was looking at it, man. Stuff looks good. That proves to me that you want to be here. You want to stay on this rig and work. Uh, that's all I want. Right. Keep on working hard for me. Show up on time. That's all I ask. Hey, man, I gotta take this one on. Go ahead. Hello. You have a collect call from Brandon Watson, an inmate at County Jail. To accept the call, press one. No, oh, dude, you won't believe this. He just called it. Brandon is finally cleared for release. What do you need? 
Justin has a choice. Pick Brandon up from jail or lose his job. Listen, dude. Listen, dude. I'm not going to pick you up from jail no more. That's serious. Coming up. Brandon brings some jailhouse justice back to Chester. Throw my truck bomb after I got put in jail. Didn't even, I'm not in jail. Brandon landed himself in jail. You rest me. Yes, sir. Listen, dude. And called his best friend to bail him out. I'm not gonna pick you up from jail no more. That's serious. No, I do. So he wants me to, he wants me to bail him out again. I mean, you know, I mean, I f***ed up this shit by doing this, by giving people too many chances. And it almost cost me my job. Brandon's two best friends are about to cut their losses and move on without him. Me and Brandon are a lot like. I have a temper, he has a temper. But you know, you know what I know the difference between me and him? Every time I got in trouble, every time I got put in jail, you know, I got myself out of them situations. Brandon's a big boy. You start letting him get out of his own situation. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right. All right, man. Oscar faces a tough decision. It's his job or Brandon's. He's gonna be pissed. He's gonna be real pissed. Tough love. With Justin drawing the line, Brandon finds a way home with another friend. So what did they get you for? I was right. driving with my lights on. Chester, that's me. Let's check out these new lights you got on your camera. What Brandon's not saying is the real reason for his arrest. You got a driver's license? Ah! It's a license and registration. I mean, this guy was all amped up, man. But damn, it's fing wrong in here. Chester wasn't too thrilled about the idea of trying to pick you up. Really? What'd he say? He's just like, uh, just, I don't know. He's a dick kid, man. Chester thinks I'm his husband or something, or I'm his kid. He shouldn't be getting pissed off because I'm in jail, you know what I mean? But I'm annoyed that he's annoyed at me for going to jail, you know what I mean? He shouldn't be annoyed at me for that. Because you know I mean? if I need something, he needs to be there. If he's in jail, I wouldn't fight him out, you know what I mean? I got put in jail, big deal, man. I'm not in prison yet. <laughs> now that Brandon's out of jail, it's time for Oscar to make the call he's been putting off for so long. It's sad to say, you know, Freddie was right about Brandon. You know, me and Brandon been friends for a while, though. I love the way he works, but the way he does things in life, oh, uh, they just... It's just something that I can't deal with no more. Hey, brother, need you to come to the rig. I need to have a talk with you. Nah, man, I can't do it over the phone. Yeah, man, coming soon. Yeah, come as soon as possible. All right, man. See you. All right, all right, bye. I've been thinking about it too long already, and today's the right day. Right now, it's my job or Brandon. Coming up. How come you didn't come pick me up, man? Broken promises. I don't know what your little kick is, but I don't like it. Because I see right through you. And a broken ring. It's judgment day for Justin. We 
you can't get me out tonight, get me out in the morning. Last night, Cheston made Brandon a promise. All right. We'll get you out. Promise me. I know. We'll get you out, dude. You didn't come pick me up, man. I'm not gonna pick you up from Joe no more. Why? Because I don't want to hang around a, a, a mean and rude Brandon. Oh, what the f ever. I drove my truck home after I got put in jail. Didn't even I'm cleaning out. Me out. Yeah, I did. But I don't know what your little kick is, but I don't like it. You're right. You can kick all the bullshit, bro. Okay. Because I see right through you. Okay. I know who you are, mother Better than you do. That's cool. Oh, it ain't cool, because you being fake. You know I'm out there in jail, and knows all the Texas. You just pay no mind about it. Yeah, I did. No, you didn't. Yeah. I know you didn't, Justin. I'm not going to argue with you. Oh, whatever. You ain't got to prove to me. I know what's up. I drove your ass up there. You could have helped me out, bro. I offered to drive. How come you just waited for the cops and then you hauled ass from jail? I, I was sitting there watching you on the... Camera, all bro. the cops to jail. I talked to all the cops. There's three of them outside. Talked to everyone. I don't give a oh, wait. State troopers you asked me a question, but you answered. You, ah. you asked me a question, but you won't let me answer. Okay. Answer. I talked to all the st three state troopers. They said he ain't getting out because he's throwing a temper tantrum. They ain't gonna book him till he stops throwing the temper tantrum. I said, okay. Well, when's he gonna get booked in? Can I leave any money on his books? No. He, he won't get booked in for about three or four more hours because he threw a temper tantrum. That's the chicken. Don't break Trevor's vacuum cleaner. What's well, move the mother out of the damn That's way your then, mother No, you move it. Sorry, Can't be mad at the world. Mother. Can't be the world, dude. Yeah, I'm pissed at you because you want to, because you don't want to, so self-centered. You know what, you can't even go pick me up out of jail. You're the ones that picked you up, man. No, but you, you were in my, you should have come pick yeah. me up. I'm not going to argue with you, man. You're out, right? Get around and get a Whatever, hotel, wait. Whatever, Your truck, everything's safe. Where I pick you go up, ahead. Pick your ass up and move it. Go ahead. Can't stay out of jail. Go up, dude. Grow up. You're gonna be like that to me? I'll be the same way to you. That's fine. Because you're gonna need me before you need me. No, you're yeah. gonna need me before yeah. you. No, you're gonna need me before oh, what I need you. I don't need you, brother. F you. F you. Right. You're being fake. Don't be in that guy's friend. F you, dude. I don't need him. I don't. He's the one that needed me. He's the one that needed a place to stay. He's the one that needed my help. But mother you don't need me before I need him. Trust that. Trust. He's called me more than too many times to pick him up out from jail. I'm not his babysitter. He can babysit himself. That's a grown-ass man. He's older than I am. He's supposed to be a role model to me. You f what he says. You punk. Two face, mother. Brandon's friendship with Cheston is on the rocks. And his job is on the chopping block. Hey, get the f out of here. He's in my ring. Oscar know. wants to talk to Brandon alone without the cameras. What up, f up, Oscar? Brandon, uh. Look, man, the reason I brought you in here for is to let you know, man, uh, none of this is working out. I know, man. I'm, trying. I'm doing my best, bro, with him. Yeah, I understand, man. But all your problems after work. You know, all this jail time is making it harder on me. I got you. I got to worry about this rig. I can't be worrying about you, man. I mean, I'm just taking time. I'm taking care of nigga problems. You don't need it today. Yeah, I got you, but. I'm tired of it, bro. I'm worn ragged. Brandon, bull we can't be around with this, man. Now we can all you do so saying? much, Oscar. We can't be doing it. We're gonna, I'm going to lose my job. I'm sick of it. I'm done with it. That's it. Yeah, I'm going to let you go. Serious? That's it. You're gone. That's bullshit, Oscar. That's it, Brandon. That's it. We're what fired, the... dude. We're fired. You're done. Got six so far. I don't care, dude. That's it. That's it. done. We're done with it. You fucking get out of here. Coming up. I miss him already. The firing has the crew up in arms. Brandon is the only motherfucker I've ever, 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 ever got along with, dude. It's like my, it's like my brother, man. And Brandon, looking for answers. You are hanging on by a thread. You're about to lose it all. Oscar has finally fired Brandon. 
That's fine. Throw me to the dogs or whatever. I don't give a next time you need me, I ain't gonna come. Right now, I just gotta do what's best for the rig, and what's best for the rig is to let him go. Probably end up ruining our friendship, I guess. Any words right now I could explain? It's been a long time coming. And now Oscar has to break the news to Brandon's Derek man, Mitch. What's up, man? What's up, buddy? How's your days off? Oh, is that all I fired Brandon. You fired Brandon? Yeah. What the am I supposed to do now, man? Work. Work. Oh, when I already got that evening tower by myself, Oscar? No, I'm gonna put you on date off with Gavino. I'm just, I'm just fed up with all that bull, dude. I'm tired of it. I don't know if I can work with Gavino and them, man. They, got them, they, they don't work like we do, man. Brandon's the only mother ever, 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 ever got along with, dude. It's like my, it's like my brother, man. I mean, it's bull to me, dude. You know what I mean? It's a lie, dude. You know, Brandon was a good friend of mine, dude. Good friend of mine. Out there, I told him, out here, I don't got no friends. I got people to work for me. You work for me. All these motherfuckers work for me. If I don't do the changes, they're going to do the changes for me. If they do the changes for me, I ain't going to be here. But I, I'm probably hanging on to my job, and I'm barely hanging on to this fucking rig as it is. Man. I got a job to do out here. Either you get put on daylights or... Man. Did I come into the work and expect to go to work like a normal day? You know what I mean? And come to find out my damn driller just got fired, man. You don't find somebody that's gonna work as hard as Brandon does. I mean, we're we're animals together. Whatever. Mitch doesn't take the news too well, but Cheston saw it coming. I'm sad to see him go, but I mean, that 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 guy's gotta hit rock bottom before he's gonna he's gonna climb that mountain again, man. And I don't, I I thought he hit rock bottom about three mistakes ago, but. I'd say, man, losing your job, that you've been on a rig that, that you gained a lot of respect for and, you, and you, you worked your way up to being a good driller, to having nothing at all, to looking for a job again, I think that's rock bottom to me, man. Brandon's crew has been disbanded, so Cheston and Mitch have joined up with Gabino and the day crew. With no time to mourn their fallen leader, they press on. The brain not being here makes a big difference. And I miss him already. This is just, I don't know, it's not the same. There's not as much charisma, you know what I mean? He brings to the table what 90% of people can. So it's just different. And I don't like it at all. The compound chain is what keeps the motor running. The crew will have to find the broken link or the entire day will be lost. So compound chain, we're gonna check it out, see if uh, our link is snapped or what, man. One of my chains was slapping. When it jumps like that, one of your links is gonna break. But Oscar knows there's a bigger problem than the chain. While the crew's been searching for the broken link, the hole's been sitting without rotation and circulation. In this condition, debris from the hole walls can accumulate until the drill bit and pipe are buried in stock. If they can pump fresh mud to the drill pit, they can avoid getting it stuck, but they have to hurry. Break it up the hole. Okay. Hurry up!
The crew gets the mud hose on in the nick of time. Watch out, watch out. Circulation is restored. Got two busted uh, compound chains. Uh, gonna be a few hours before we get back going again. But the chain is still broken, and the drill is shut down until they can fix it. While the rig is at a standstill, back in Midland, Brandon tries to manage his anger. I got put in jail. Oh, okay. What happened? Drive without a license. Okay. I haven't had a license in like 11 years. Wow. Mm -hmm. Been a while. And then I guess Cheston had your truck and he brought it home? Yeah. And then he didn't pick me up the next day from jail. We just got into a heated argument. Like, if he was in jail, I'd go get his ass out. But and he didn't go get you? Uh-uh. Why? I don't know. Why did he not drive in the first place? Because I wouldn't let him. Why? He's Justin. And then what else? I got fired the other day. That job meant everything to you. And talk to me about what it meant to lose your job. It sucked. I didn't want to walk away from the rig. I always say I'm married to that rig. I'm married to my iron, you know what I mean? Well, it just got stripped away from me. But yeah, when I'm out drunk, partying, you know, nothing matters. Nothing at all. Yeah, yeah, I get that. You are hanging on by a thread. Yeah, I know. I know you know. And for some reason, you keep doing the same things that create this problem for you. And I'm worried about that. So am I. I can tell you, Brandon, you need to think before you lose your temper. Brandon, you need to stay out of the bars. Brandon, you need to do this, and you need to do this, and you need to do this. And it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter at all, whatever I tell you, unless you want to do something different. All right. And you tell me you do. I do. So what's stopping you? I don't know. You're about to lose it all. Yes, ma'am. You really are. Yeah. I just, I don't know. I've got to change something up. I've got to do something different, because this ain't working. No. You're, th you're 31? Yes, ma'am. You're plenty old enough to know what you need to do to make your life better. I really need to quit drinking. You really do. You really yeah. need to be boring. Well, it won't be boring. I find other to do, but... Like what? I guess I'll just work out harder and maybe jog. Golf. Arts and crafts. Are you really going to do that, or are you just telling me that? But I promise you right now, I won't drink another beer for the rest of this week. And what is the reason that you're going to do that for this week? Because I told myself this morning I don't feel good. I don't I'm just tired of doing the drinking, man. Boring me out. And you're going to take care of you. Yes. So that maybe nobody else has to. Yes. Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be nice. This is on your shoulders. It's not on mine. It's not on your dad's. It's not on Cheston's. It's on yours. Oh. While Brandon battles through his issues, back on the rig, the crew fights to get through a major setback without him. Compound chain slipping. Oh. Yeah, a lot of can go wrong. A lot of can go wrong if that snaps. It's like, it's like your transmission dropping out the bottom of your car. Chain breaks, everything stops. Don't back it up. Neutral. Yeah. That one's broke. And that one's broke on that other side. Rig 28 needs a new chain. The closest supplier is 50 miles away. I'm your ordinary expression. It ain't gonna suck itself. But Oscar refuses to give up. God, I love my job. This mother sick and tired of this. Two hours later, Oscar returns with a brand new chain. and gives his crew a fighting chance to save the day. Oh, eat. Hey, you eat all that. Hey, eat all that. What do you want? Three quarters. Three quarters, got it. Got it? Got it. We had a couple of chains break on us. You can hear them snap. So we got to take them out, fix them, before we can do anything else. Somebody signal me. Captain, come here. Hold on. 
With the broken chain replaced, the rig will finally get back to drilling. But it's not a day that will be easily forgotten. It's been a crazy day. We had everything tore up. Trying to hurry, get done. Officer screaming like a mother. Standing over a back, watching us every minute. Days like today, the they couldn't fire me early enough. Back in town, Brandon's breaking a promise of his own. A day won't work at all, to tell you the truth. Ugh. I got fired. For what? I have no idea. You know what I mean? I was in jail. What do you want me to do? I come to the bar, drink a couple beers, try to get, get rid of this this sour taste that got in my mouth and this booth that I got in my head, you know what I mean? You know, I got here, I figured I could drink a couple beers and and I'd, you know, I'd mellow out, but I mean, if I drink any more, it's gonna get worse. You know, I need to get out of here, I need to go talk to Chess, and I need to see what's going on. Alcohol ain't, ain't gonna solve my problems, you know what I mean? It's not gonna do it. So I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. Coming up on Black Gold. Fed up with him, man. I'm tired of uh, having to deal with him. Brandon reaches the end of his rope. I just need to be on the rig, so. Yeah, talk to you about something. And Oscar ignites a competition. Y'all want it? Take it. I know I'm winning a fight for it. Hell yeah. On rig 28. Oscar finally had enough of Brandon. You're fired. You're done. You gotta fix up so far. I don't care, dude. That's it. Get out of here. And now he's hammering the final nail into his coffin. Miss work all the time. Not showing up. Got Gabino staying over. He's gonna do a termination on him. I'm fed up with him, man. Back at the house. Maybe was something to do, you know? A jobless Brandon is checking out his options. Trying to find something different to get into other than drilling rig, but I'm looking at it and I just, I don't see nothing. Something that I gotta do and something that I don't wanna do, but I've seen a lot of hands come and go, uh, but this one's a little bit tougher because, uh, you know, when it's family or friends that, you know, you really like working with, uh, it's hard to say goodbye to them, but, you know, you guys just got to make that choice, and right now my choice is, you know, letting him go. It's hard for me to let go of a good driller, and I just got to do it. When I was younger, I got a job at a nursing home, but... Not against old people, but I just, that's not my cup of tea. I'm not gonna serve nobody food. Ever since I started working on the drilling rig, I just, I never really wanted to do anything else, you know what I mean? I never even thought about it. I figured, oh man, I found this, that's what I'm gonna do forever. I never figured my temper would take my, my job away from me, you know what I mean? Most people don't wanna, you know, be dirty all day. You know, most people don't like sitting in the sun. Most people don't like getting yelled at. Most people don't like being around danger, man. Well, I do. I like the smells. This is how we do it. Being dirty, you know what I mean? Just the, just the power. I don't know, it's just a drilling rig. It just has so much torque. It's like getting on a motorcycle, man. Once you get that brake handle in your hand and you get the feel for that rig, it's better than doing any drug. It's better than anything, man. Yeah! People think I'm crazy, but... That's what Brandon likes to do, man. 
I just need to be on the rig, so. The only thing I do, Brandon's a driller. Brandon needs to drill. Back on the rig, there's a Brandon-sized hole. And Oscar has a plan to fill it. Hey, drop that for a second. Uh, you be able to sit Oscar wants to holler at us real quick, dude. Say, trade away. He'll be right back. I don't know what he wants to talk to us about. I looked at Gabino and I said, what? Here you go. I said, man, Gabino ain't been, I said, man, Mitchum ain't been fighting. <laughs> Is it not yet? Good. Eddie's first. Thank you, sir. You're a gentleman and a scholar. <laughs> Don't worry, Phyllis. I gotta talk to you about something. Oscar brings Cheston and Mitch in to make an offer they can't refuse. I'll let, Br I'll let Brandon go. I ain't putting up with that no more. I'm done. It's over with. The good thing is I'm putting both of y'all in daylight. We can bean on them. I'm gonna start breaking out drillers. Bottom line. And uh, y'all both have been working y'all's asses off, and uh, it's gonna be a competition between both of y'all right now. You know, show me who's the hardest worker, who got better leadership. Whoever shows me they can do the best, that's what I'm gonna give it to them. Uh, finish off your day on evening tower. Come out tomorrow on daylight. 5.30 in the morning. And show me what you got. If you can't show me what you got, then I'm gonna have to find somebody else. Bottom line, fellas, it's on y'all. It's on y'all. If y'all want it, take it. Oh yeah. I've been wanting it. I know I'm willing to fight for it. I, I don't get nothing but my 150 percent. You, you forgot who you're throwing hands with, Mitchell. No. I ain't never met a mother in my life that want anything as bad as I do. Show me. All right. This ain't this ain't Missouri. Now show me state, but this is Texas. All right. Everything's bigger than Texas. Everything's bigger than Texas. Damn right it is. Y'all right. get out to get to work, fellas. Right. That's you, Mitch. They're gonna have to show me something. I'm intense, gung ho, 100%, balls to the wall the entire time. Just as lazy and, 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 and half assed. You're not gonna talk to me like that. I know what the hell's going on out here, man. I'm setting the pace just fine. I know, I know what I'm doing. We're gonna find out who the real worker is. On black gold. Gas it, gas it, gas it, gas it. Down, no, it's down. It's Mitch versus Justin. Justin versus Brandon. I, that's the way I feel. Like. So I'm speaking for myself. Yeah. I'm getting pretty pissed off at it right now. I want his ass to come outside and get his ass cool. And Brandon versus the state of Texas. If I don't see you in 30 minutes, I'll probably see you in eight years. <laughs> 